Good afternoon there everyone, Silver Dragon here, going to be continuing my uh, weekly uh, Masterwork Dwarf Fortress uh, video for the, uh, I think it's 1.25 version, I think it is. Uh, now there was a new 2.0 version of uh, Masterwork release, which I haven't gotten around to yet for uh, this version of the Let's Play. I uh, instead was working on a uh, the Orc Fortress version, which is turning out quite well it seems. Now, for this one, of course, we're working on uh, getting the Vampire Fortress up and running, uh, since we dropped a vampire in the well last time. And I want to apologize right off the bat for the shitty audio quality of last time. For some reason, my mic reset itself back up to its highest gain, and it was just crackling, and very shitty mic quality for some reason. Unfortunately, this thing is crap. This, this headset is just shit mic. Absolutely crap mic. Unfortunately, I've looked around, I can't seem to find any real decent alternatives, uh, which really blows, really, really blows, unfortunately. So I think I'm just going to run out one of these days, find some, like, I don't know, $100 USB mic over at uh, Music Store or something like that, like an actual recording mic, and see if that works better. Don't know if it will, but it might just be a complete waste of freaking cash, but you know what, I'm going to give it a try and see what happens, just because I don't like shitty quality in any of my videos. So, anyway, we're going to continue on from here. So, we survived a couple sieges last time. We're basically in the point now of just, uh... You know what, we should probably smooth out that well. Since we're going to be using that well a lot, we should probably smooth it out. What am I doing? It's designate, then smooth, not DB. That'd be if I wanted to dump something. Then that would be correct. <laughs> uh, okay. Not used in my brain. I'll just smooth it out for now. Handling dangerous creature. All right, so we had an entire new setup of industry there uh, for the uh, milking of all these goats. Cause dear God, we have so many freaking goats. All right, where did I set them up? Even did I set them up? Oh yeah, I did set them up right here. Ah. Farmer's workshops, farmer's workshops. In that case, since I do not have any other massively current use for my miners, I'm going to have them come down here and start mining away all this stuff right here. So what we're basically going to do is get a giant underground farm with which we can actually uh, place all of our goats. That way they will be able to harvest from them down here and not have to go all the way up to the surface to pick them up and then blah 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 and all that random stuff. <clears throat> Alright. So let's get this whole section here just kind of padded down, ready to go. Doesn't have to be too precise. This ought to be this will be good enough here. Yeah, that'll be good enough. So it'll take it a while before all that is cave moss, but when it is, it's gonna be nice. Those guys are doing their training, that's good. Chop down trees, just in case these are trees and actually blocking that. No, they're not. Well, one is, actually, looks like. And we'll have them get out of those plants. Maybe those are plump helmets or something. Actually, natural... No, they're called shrubs. They look like plump helmets to me. So you'll get random underground materials from collecting plants underground and random overground materials from collecting plants on the surface. Alright, let's go down to my smithy shop here. It looks pretty good. Magma Armory. Uh, make copper 12 into armor set, iron 12 into armor set, steel 12 into armor set would be nice. Magma weaponry, steel bayonets is all for those. Cast rune 5 on hailbrids, so if you manage to make yourself some runes, this would be nice to uh, increase uh, add increased uh, attacks and such to it. Interesting attacks and damage and all that good stuff. Now, another reason why I do want to transfer over to the new version uh, soon is because they did add a lot of stuff back in. And they increased the difficulty a lot of uh, certain things like mining and such, farming. It now takes uh, four months, no, two months above ground and four months below ground to... What the hell? Have any of the others here set to fire at will? Because we could have killed a dwarf right there. 
I could. I think we did kill a dwarf. Oh shit. Whoops! At the very least, we damaged him. Let's see here. Flying iron bolt strikes torture. Oh, here we go. Flying iron ballista arrow strikes the crossbow dwarf in the chest. Bruising the muscle, bruising the right breast muscle. Crossbow dwarf is propelled away by the force of the blow. Strikes him in the left shin. Shatters the bone. Ow. Strikes him in the right buttocks, bruising the muscle. Strikes him in the uh, in the torso, bruising the muscle, bruising the guts. Strikes him in the torso again, bruising the left kidney's tissue. And then finally in the right shin, shattering the bone. Wow. And he slammed into an off, uh, an, uh, to the wall, basically. And the cook as well got hit by that bolt. Shattered his uh, left shin. And it also hit him in the, oh, in the groin, you poor bastard. Oh, man. Oh. You know what? When it comes to something like that, that I have got to actually take a picture of because that is, that is freaking hilariously terrible. A giant effing ballista hit this poor man in the crotch. And, oh wow, I'm going to have to copy this and put this on my, uh, there we go, I'm going to leave that over there. Damn, you poor bastard. At least it didn't say, and the severed part sailed off in an arc, because that would have been worse. <laughs> that would have been much worse. Wow, this is why, kids, you don't forget to turn off your blisters. They are quite dangerous. And end up hurting your peoples. Quite significantly so, it seems. <laughs> well, you know, not not too bad, but still. Cough. <laughs> Alright. So back into the mess here, we have... Not enough tombstones! Human bait. Ah, good old human bait. He performed his duties well. Anyway, let's go down some more. Let's see what these guys are doing right here now. Rock coffers, cabinets, goods, all that stuff. Yeah, we need all that. Uh, I could get some more beds made. Not that, well, not that they're going to be using it. In that case, I'm going to get more bins made. Alright, make charcoal. Rock thrones. Tanner shop, so maker shop, making rock. He is making rock crafts. Let's get some more rock pots while we're at it. There we go. Mechanics workshop, craft store is not doing anything. Leather is not currently doing anything. Uh, of course, we have my storage unit here, which can open open the cra uh, crates of steel bin, or steel bars, and all that stuff. Stone bedroom set, stone storage set, all that stuff. Wooden living room set. Stone cutter set can make uh, rock stuff from uh, blocks, rock beds, rock bins. Magma safe doors, which is really useful, and all that stuff. I definitely love the magma safe options in the uh, stone cutters workshop. All right, but yeah. Other than that, of course, they also it looks like we actually captured one of those warlocks. Huh? <laughs> These are the little buggers that keep making havoc in my uh, orc fortress let's plays. Why they send a caravan? And if Vexification is watching this one. I can understand it not being a glitch if they did not summon undead that then attack them. Like, what's the point of a necromancer coming into a fortress, summoning the undead, and having them, like, rape his face? That makes no sense. So, if the undead they summoned were non-hostile guards at that point for them, that would make sense. So, that, otherwise, in other words, it is definitely a glitch. Uh, that they didn't uh, that they didn't iron out when they made uh, added them to the caravans. So I'd probably have to either eliminate uh, warlock caravans or just keep killing them as they come into the fortress. Would be my only option for that. Wait, what, did I put an armor stand as a chair here for some reason? Why the hell did I put an armor stand as a chair? That seems really odd to me. Now, I can't remember who it was that was drinking from this well. 
Now, worst comes to worst, this well isn't tainted properly. And we can drag him out of here again, Record Keeper, and drop him down a uh, separate well close to it. And hopefully that would be what I require. Because we have his blood in the wall here. All this blood is on the wall. Smear of pus. I don't think that's going to be enough. There's some of his blood. So this well should technically be tainted by his blood. But we have yet to see any more sucking from the throats to make sure that it's actually working. Alright. Miners are starting to get rid of that stuff. That's good. Actually, what is my current stocks for bars here? Let's take a look. Bars. We have two welded chrome bars, seven iridium wafers, three rose gold bars, which I could probably turn into crafts. Uh, 79 copper, let's see, 5 sterling silver, 121 coarse iron, which I still have to turn to iron, not so much so in the new version of Masterwork, thank god. 9 pig iron, and a couple charcoal, so I should be able to make steel. I believe I was in the process of doing so there, that would be correct. Now, I'm not going to be able to make nearly that much. So if I can cancel some of these and make some more pig iron, then that would be entirely possible. <coughs> Excuse me. Also, another thing that got uh, downgraded a bit was the ability to, uh, what you got from smelting. So you get like, I think, half now. So you'd need like two two iron ore to make a single iron block or iron bar or something like that if I gathered it correctly for what, uh, for what I understand from it anyway coarse iron into iron we got that going there should be good alright poor elemental sitting over here all damaged for some reason now I want to know where the hell my uh, metal smiths are at right now where are they at metal smiths I have eight metal smiths how many people do I have that are actually, uh... Hmm. Well, let's load up the therapist and see what the hell's up with them. Warning! Dwarf Fortress is not running. But it is! I swear it is! Okay, so... Yeah, we have a crap ton of metalsmiths. We have furnace operators, furnace operator, furnace operators. We have tons of furnace operators. Oh, and especially these guys right here are definitely furnace operator material. They're just not getting shit done for some reason. I don't know why. Now, this guy right there is the only, definitely the only one I want doing my armor smithing. So I'll disable that. Blacksmithing. And this guy most definitely, most definitely is the only one doing my weaponsmithing. Level 19 is going to stay on weaponsmithing. I want my legendary weapons. Damn it. Zan, my friend, what are you doing? Okay, his hauling has been turned off. This guy's hauling has been turned off. So they should be getting their butts down here. It's not like they have anything else to do. <sighs> Might just be taking a while because they, well, you know, slow little buggers. Alright, I'm going to expand this. And as much down here as I can to add to my bar stockpile. Not even my rocks, just my bars. Oh, great. More migrants. Just what I needed. Just what I needed. Looks like we gained another 10 migrants. I'll be shoving them into the combat squads. Unless they amaze me. Level 14 armor smithing. Meh. That's all he has. I think that is better than the other armor smith, though. Yeah, it is. So I'll have him as the main armor smither then. Wax working. I'll leave that enabled for now. There we go. 
Seems like when you, when you talk about the whole thing, you get a bit of a delay there. Now, do we have anyone that has equivalent skills as these guys? No, this guy's definitely my chief medical dwarf. <coughs> Excuse me. And I don't really have much need for any any extras in there. So let's see what kind of military skills. Ah, oh, they have zero military skills whatsoever. <laughs> That's not good. Nope. That makes them pretty, pretty useless to me. Which means they're going to be adding to the no job cast. Now this guy's a miner. He's going to be at least useful. So let's see about enabling. I don't really need actually processing at all. Just enable some plant gathering for these guys. And I'm going to send them off to gather a crap ton of plants. I'll even enable fishing as well. Commit changes. Alright. So we're going to have a crap ton of food now because they're going to go gather all the plants that I can find. Alright, perfect. So, let's see about uh, the ex expansions down here. So the miners are slowly getting their work done, which is a good thing. <sighs> Looks like they've run out of an iron ballista head. Add... Siege object. Iron ballista arrowheads. I'll make three of those. <laughs> God, I guess I'm sick now. That's not good. Where the hell are all my smelters? And why are they not here? Do I have... I don't have any alerts on right now, as far as I'm aware. There should be no reason they shouldn't be getting their asses down here and smelting. They even live down here. All their beds are down here. Who are you, random person? Ah, vampire, the manager, who is not actually a vampire, but I know you've yet to rename him. <laughs> so let's see if these guys have any interesting social skills then, at the very least, to redeem themselves. No, they got some negotiator. Judge of Intent is level 7, it's not too bad. And appraising is level four. They can at least appraise and negotiate, but they don't have their highest negotiator, which is level four. Also has level four appraising, which isn't bad. It's skilled. Uh, let's see. I wonder who my actual negotiator is right now. Hmm. Let's take a look here. Who's my actual broker? Trader. Huh. So yes, Trader is my actual broker right now. Record Keeper. Trader. He has level 13 appraising. Level 13, uh, no. Uh, it's Judge of Intent, but that's still regardless. Oh wow, he only has level 2 Negotiator though. That's not that great. <laughs> so he can appraise stuff really, really well. But other than that, he's kind of shitty. He's not going to be getting me any really good deals at all. Hmm. In that case, I am tempted to swap it off to this new guy, but... I think I'll leave it as is. Oh yeah, human bait too. Let me hit my bookkeeper? Really? Huh. I must have been really desperate or something. Now, I can't remember who it was that I assigned to be my first vampire there that drank from the well. Oh, so they're starting to get some uh, warm stone there. But that's alright, they can mine it out. It's not like it's that dangerous. Just a bit of lava underneath there. It's not like it's going to hurt nobody. And finally, one of my smelters actually decides to come down here and do their job. Ta! There's a miracle and a half. Stray puppy tame has been found dead. No, puppy! Oh well. What can you do, Zay? What can you do? Alright, so my main. <laughs> oh, goddammit. Now I'm sick, and that's just not fun. 
Ugh. Joyful. I'll have to deal with that. Alright, so what should I do now that I have all of this set up? I suppose I should... Stray war dogs gave birth to puppies. How adorable. So let's see what else I can. I got a war dragon, two war dragons right now. A war dragon raptor, war sauropod, magma hound, grizzly bear, dragon raptor. Actually, yeah, I have a lot of war dragons now. Nice, I have four war dragons. War dogs. Now, war dragons are can be good. In that they can light an entire field on fire and annihilate an entire army, but again, the issue with that is they will also annihilate anything else that happens to be in the path of that fire. So your stuff, your guys, anything gets caught anywhere near those flames is gonna die. Oh, I can't war train a genie. That's too bad. Okay, war train those dogs. Can't war train that because it's owned. Surprised I can't war train the coyote. War train that dog. It's supposed to be war training this guy here, but I guess it's not doing it. It's kind of wild because he's wild right now, is the issue. <coughs> These dogs are set to be war trained. Uh, let's see what else. Ironclad dog is owned, so I can't war train it. Alright, that's everything that's supposed to be war trained right now. Now, let's see. So I should probably build that arena. Might be a good idea. Cloud of boiling golden salves drifted nearby. Not that it really matters. Alright. So where do I want to build the arena? I could build an above ground arena, actually. I would give my guys something to do, and I can get my masons to work. Hmm. That's a plan. Where would I put it, though? Is the question. Can't do it on this side, because there's not enough room. I could do it on this edge, right here. But I need to get rid of all these trees, and I need to floor in all these uh, little lakes. So let me designate all these little trees here to be removed. I've already designated the plants. Now this doesn't need to actually be that huge, so I just need to extend it. Oh. What to do? I guess I could make it out of marble. Rough wood logs, looks like we have 99 right now, damn. Uh, excuse me. One moment. Well, this is great, considering I'm pretty much absolutely necessary at work tomorrow, and... Oh, I made that the wrong blocks. I guess the whole point of this, though, is that I want them to spend a long time getting this done, so... I have to make it out of materials that they actually have to haul. Let's see. Nether logs. Dolomite. We got a dolomite. <coughs> oh man. Ah oh, well, I'm sure I'll just chase something that'll kill this in no time. There we go, let's get this guy floored in with some dolomite. I know, let's get some gabbro up here. We have t 
tons and tons of gab rub. We haven't used a lot of it in a while. I'm just going to floor in this whole area here. With gab rub. I'm probably flooring the whole thing eventually, but still. For now, that's what I'll put up there. I'll have to wait for them to finish all that first. Then I'll be able to get to work. Alright. More dogs giving birth to even more puppies, dear God. Stop pumping up puppies, jeez. Too many puppies. Make steel bars is finally underway. So we'll have a whole assortment of uh, steel bars, that'll be good. Maybe I should start... Uh, let's take a look around here. So we haven't really fully explored what this lava lake looks like. There's the hell layer right there already, so we can't really... It's gonna be difficult to find some adamantine I can actually mine. Let's erase this bit. One of the miners will surely come down here. Whoops, wrong one. Now I don't want to accidentally f like dig down and uh, <clears throat> get rid of a uh, piece of adamantine, so I'm just going to do that. Well, it still has a chance to drop it, regardless, I believe, but, you know, I don't want to risk it. <laughs> Alright, that should be good. Alright. We'll have a channel right here. And then probably wall it in or something. <coughs> well, it doesn't really matter. Any dangerous creatures that come that want to come into my fortress are going to go through the uh, this area anyway. Because I haven't properly protected it against that. Oh god, more donkeys. I don't want any more donkeys, I swear. Pete. Not sure if they can actually eat peat or not. Cave fungus, yes. But peat? I don't know. I'm kind of iffy on that. Oh, great. We still have that damn ghost taunting my guys for some reason. How are they feeling right now? Let's check out status. He's been happy lately, so they're good for now. Ooh, let's take a look at your kills. Killed the Ice Wizard, a named, uh, oh, triple named Ice Wizard, actually, no, double named Ice Wizard. And a Lightning Sheep, because he had to. Alright. All donkeys go here. And I may have to murder some of you soon because you are getting way too, way too prolific as it were. <clears throat> Producing way too many donkey babies. Far, far too many donkey babies. All it takes is one male. And then you have yourself a million donkeys. And also another interesting thing is the new version of Masterwork also allowed you to, uh use up to like four gigs of uh, RAM which is nice I would hope that would improve performance quite a bit puppies all the donkey fowls an elf blade dancer we apparently caught for some reason unicorn unicorn donkey fowl donkey fowl dear god so many donkeys 
All right, let's let them get in here. Now start hauling them down here. Let's repeat all that. Oh great, now I'm hungry because I've not eaten anything either yet today. I pretty much woke up and I'm like, oh shit, it's that late? Gotta get some videos done. Alright. Milk cheese, milk cheese. And repeat those. And hopefully they won't cancel them immediately like they always seem to. For some reason there when they're when they're done milking they get the job to make cheese and they can't because they're still to have, they're handling a dangerous creature and moving it back to its pen. So they cancel the job instead of just be like thinking, huh, maybe I'll move this animal over to the pen and then I'll, you know, finish the making cheese job. <coughs> Not that smart. Unfortunately. Alright. Now, I don't think I can actually tame unicorns in this one. So. Oh, yeah, all my sheep are dead. It's sad. It's quite sad. I have, like, one lightning sheep lamb left. Knew I should have, when I knew when the babies were born, I should have gotten the adults out of there. Should have gotten them out of there. But I didn't. And now they're dead. Now my entire livestock of lightning sheep are dead. So no lightning fur for me. Damn shame. <clears throat> See, castles make cheese handling dangerous creature. Really annoying. Really, really annoying. Best I could do, I guess, is just have them make a shat ton of milk. And then transfer that into... Uh, let's get some barrels made as well, actually. Since we have so many logs... May as well. Now, looks like we still haven't gotten anyone turning into a vampire yet, as far as I can tell. There have been plenty of people falling asleep, and I haven't seen a single person turn into a vampire yet. It's a water source. <coughs> One of my current stocks on beer are excessive, that's probably why. Holy crap, there's a lot of dogs. Alright, let's get them out of here. Burrow 2. There we go, that should get these guys filtering out of there, so I can shut it. Yep. So I don't want them in here. Yes, I don't care. I don't want them in here drinking. I want them drinking from the wells only. <coughs> but first I have to get them get their asses out of here before that'll happen. So vamp two, vamp four, all these guys need to finish drinking, get the frack out of there. Looks like they're taking the beer with them though. All right, forbid, keep tightly closed. There we go. So hopefully we had a few more people drinking from the well there. empty bucket. I can fix that quickly. I 
promote these up to max here. There we go. Perfect. Now, somebody had suggested building tables next to beds. Now, I'm pretty sure they meant traction beds, or traction benches. But you know what? Why not? I'll build some next to their actual beds as well. It might be, it's probably because of you need to feed and otherwise give your guys nutrients while they're, you know, recovering. And to do that, you need a table. Could be the issue. Doctor Who? Repair compound fracture, which for him should be no difficulty. Canceling all the milk jobs now because there's no creature for them to milk, looks like. Holy frack, why are there so many logs mixed in there? Jesus. I should start making wooden crafts because we got so many freaking logs. Damn. For some reason, they cancelled a whole lot of these and suspended everything else. Oh, yeah. Goddamn. Alright. There we go. It's because I put them on alert that they did that. Wait, are these completed? You have discovered a eerie cavern. The air above the dark stone... Floor is alive with vicarious purple light, dark boiling clouds, seemingly bottomless glowing pits mark the surface. Oh shit, I just breached the hell later. Hell air. Oh, F me. How did I breach the hell air? Oh Jesus. Oh shit. How the fuck did I do that? I didn't even. What the hell happened? I didn't even mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. Oh shit. All military. This is not good. This is not good at all. This is this is terrible. I need to seal off the lower layers, uh, lower areas now. Okay, this is terror. This is really, really bad right now. This is insanely bad. Oh my god, this is gonna be. Oh my, I can't even. I can't even tell you how terrible this is going to be right now. Okay, I need to start pasturing all my war animals into here. Giant drow spiders. I need you. Ironclad dog. I need you. I would even say the Elf Blade Dancer would be a nice one to put in a cage and let him unleash on these things. I'll leave the War Dragons out of this for now, just because I know they'll freaking kill us. They'll just kill us all. War Dogs. All War Dogs must be assigned to this location. Literally, we need every freaking combat. Dwarf, Animal, Sauropod, Giant Coyote, Magma Hound, anything that we have available that is not a dragon gets down here right now. I need them hauled down here like right now. Only that straight fade dog there. Giant weasel. This is all hands to war. This might actually be the end of this fort. I could seal the place off but you know what? Where's the fun in that? So let's let's take on the hell zone head first. I don't know how he managed to mine that out though. I didn't tell him to mine that out. All I told him to do was mine to the area. So either he was possessed by some demon and told to mine it out or something. I don't know what the frack happened there. But he wasn't supposed to. Who the hell was it? Who was this... This fool that, that just killed us all. Clone Trooper. It's all your fault, man. You just killed us. You just murdered us. 
You've murdered us, clone trooper. You've murdered us. Actually, no, it's not your fault. It's not actually your fault. It looks like this adamantine wall here actually had a straight down path. Uh, right down to the evil zone of death. And he's currently being chased by frost wraiths. Now... Now I need to see what the fur what the home burrow is. Cause I need to redesignate it. Okay. Should I require it? I will need you to get these dragons down there too. I'm just going to designate this whole area using my, you know, quick and easy done tactic. Of course the only well needs to be marked off. And this is going to be the last section I allow them to go to. Everything out of the nest needs to be removed right now. Sucks I'll have to repaint this later on. It's like, sorry, uh, smelters, but you are unfortunately required to abandon your job. Alright, let's get on down here. All dwarves, abandon the lower mines! Abandon the lower mines! Let's hope that will slow them down at least. It did. Holy crap, it actually slowed them. It actually stopped them. Ha! <laughs> That's funny. Oh, there's the dead uh, corpse of Clone Trooper now. Rest in peace, Clone Trooper. Shit, where'd they all go? Unless they somehow breached it. They did. Of course they did. So I'm gonna hotkey this place because it's gonna be basically my combat area. We'll see how many guys manage to assemble here. Quite a few have so far. All right, let me go hotkeys. I'm gonna go, let's see, shift F2. Oh crap, I've set F2 to zoom there. Alright, so some critters have been hauled down here. Not all of them, though. We need far more than that if we're going to defend against the uh, minions of hell. It's <laughs> so, like a brass sword golem is currently fighting them and slowing them down. The weakened one we had down there. So he is at least going to delay them. While we get all these uh, animals down here to defend us. So hopefully they do that quickly. We've got the magma hound... Oh, here they go. They're going in there.
Oh wow, the frost wraiths are just ignoring my entire combat squad and just going up there. Kill it! Oh, who died? Vap 2 has been struck down. Here they come! Get them, boys! Oh, great. Now the other lightning sheep, the last lightning sheep we had, is killing his last child. You know what, let's just have them all gather up right here. How's that sound? War dogs. War dogs. Not a lot, not a long way to go for them at all. There we go. So we'll have them all gather up here and fight to the death to protect their homeland. There we go. Copper sword, go sword golem. War dogs. All the war dogs, not the donkey fowl. Donkey, fo uh, donkey fowl can stay exactly where he is. Okay. Dragon raptor, genie. Or no, not the genie, because he might cast some magic that might hurt my guys. I don't know, what else should I add in here? Giant drow spiderlings, yes, definitely. Unicorn does not like me. And that's it. See if my miners will mine that out. He's been found dead. Of course, he probably got raped by that thing. Let's close that outer gate right now. Keep them out. Well, since our initial battleground is now lost, I assume they would attack it, but they didn't. This is all we have left right now. Bob the crossbow dwarf has been found dead. For some reason, they're still fighting down here. Get them, boys. <laughs> it's mine. What the hell? God damn it. I think I'm 
when I finally killed the thing though. Yeah, they killed it. No, not that. Whoa. Another frickin' one. Shit, another frost wraith coming up. Ah, oh, this is gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough. Sword Dwarf counter strikes, strikes him in the forearm. Wave energy is released from the ruins of his uh, her runic uh, copper scimitar, and the severed parts sail off in an arc. Sword Sword strikes it in the left wing, and severed parts sail off in an arc. So I don't know who is doing that. Whoever has a copper rune sword is basically just raping these wraiths right now. So we're doing our best just to hold these fracking things off, but it's just not easy. Shit, we're fucked. Ah! This fortress is so screwed. There's not a damn thing we can do at this point. Well, there is one thing we can do. Off the advance of these bastards. Okay. War dog, war dog. We're basically retreating all the way to the surface. Even the war dragons are getting assigned here this time. Even the genie. Everything we have that has even the slightest capability of fighting is getting assigned here. Unfortunately, the dragons will probably just murder everything, but that's alright. As long as I kill a shot ton of them with it, it's acceptable. Oh, 
let's see here. Now our military is here solely for the purpose now of slowing these guys down. Of course there is. We literally just got mass slaughtered here. Copper Sword Golem has been struck down. Uh, the Final Gentleman has been struck down. Tom has been struck down. Spear 3 has been struck down. Basically, the only purpose of our entire military forces right now is just to slow the tide of this invasion. For which it seems to be incredibly unsuccessful at doing. Alert. I have pretty much nothing left in my military. As far as I can tell. Yep. Pretty much nothing left. Everyone get the frack out of there. Well, the stray war dragon's going nuts. So much death. Well, at least we can say goodbye to this fortress now, finally, with episode 11, guys. Oh, wow. Well, this actually, last, actually lasted 11 episodes, which was a lot longer than a lot of my other fortresses, I have to say. Hummingbird monster. Gigantic eyeless hummingbird. Wow. And technically my fort would still survive because I have that vampire down there. But it would be pointless. Anything that came into this fort would just be slaughtered instantly. My war sauropod isn't actually putting out much of a fight there. Let's see how well this thing is actually... A spirit of fire, spirit devil of snow, all this stuff. War sauropod. Let's see if it actually is even doing any damage. It's not even attacking. Wow. So it's definitely... Well, I couldn't armor it. I never managed to armor the thing, so it can't really fulfill its role of a tank if it's not armored. I'm guessing my war dragon died like a freaking wimp. The unicorn is fighting even. Even the unicorn is fighting. The war dragon. Wow! A hummingbird monster grabbed a dragon, a fucking dragon, by the second left front toe and takes him down. Like, down hard. What the frack? That is insane. All the high, all the war dragon managed to do was bite it once, and I was fucked. Wow! Do not dig adamantine, guys. Do not dig candy. It never ends well. Yep, this is the death of the fortress. They're doing everything I can. Every my entire military is completely ineffective. All I, all you can see at the bottom now is just massive like seizure inducing flashes because of all the death that is going on right now. You can see all those flames and smoke going on there, so my war dragons are still alive, I think. Still doing there what they can. Oh that's the fiend of fire right there. That's the fiends of fire. So yeah, this fortress is completely screwed. So I guess next time we
We get to start with the new version of Masterwork Dwarf Fortress. Yay! And all the fun joy joy stuff that comes with that. And the other sheep still has not killed this baby sheep, apparently. Wow. Well, at least we sealed off the fortress. At least the outside world might not have to fear these creatures of the night. But yes, all of my guys have been terribly killed. I have maybe a dozen guys left. Let's see here. From 86 dwarves down to 18. This is what happens when you breach the freaking uh, freaking hell layer without being prepared. This is what happens. This horrible wave of death and hell descending upon us. If we'd been able to, to seal off that area and force them into a large area where we were actually prepared for it, might have been able to survive a bit longer. I have yet to successfully defeat a health, uh, a hell lair, uh, before, so yeah. Although it's not too difficult if you atom smash them to death, I suppose, but I didn't have anything like that set up, unfortunately. I didn't expect there to be a adamantine stairway directly down into hell there. Usually you just have, you, you dig adamantine down to the hell lair and then breach it yourself. This was not the case this time, so I was incredibly unlucky with what I got. Uh, but anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the finale for uh, Season 3. Uh, we'll be starting up a new season, of course, next week with uh, Masterwork Version 2, which has many, uh, many an interesting update, which I'll probably mention then. Uh, until then, though, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, this has been terrible, terrible fail. And uh, definitely check out my Orc Fortress, uh, which I will more than likely... Uh, be failing on that soon enough as well and updating it to the new version and uh, seeing what goes with that because there have been quite a few updates to it as well uh, so yeah anyway have a good one everybody peace out see y'all next week thanks for watching this terrible fail of death oh god <laughs>